Uh, welcome over here. Hey, my name is uh, Robert Turner. I go by Lunkers TV. Some of you guys do know me. This is the Guggen Labs. Today we're going to talk about frogs. Yes, that is right. We're going to be talking about the filthy frog. We got multiple sizes and we got multiple different kinds. So here lately, I've actually been throwing the mini frog much more, mainly because it actually produces a bit more bites because it's got that smaller profile. I have actually caught a, I literally caught a toad on a frog. Uh, it, that is possible. You can catch toads on frogs, especially big bass. I'm, I'm actually physically meeting real toads. But out the gate, we have a, uh, this is the original size. And then we have the mini size right here. I love how it says, eat me on top. I'm not gonna tell you guys who made that up. Psh, yours truly. But here's the original Pop and Filthy Frog. A lot of people do like this one. I would recommend if you're in an area where you can get away with throwing this, I would throw this one over the regular one. Not size comparison wise, I'm talking about the front. This one, more open water situations. This one where it's got that nice slop, just nasty, just ugh, that filth on top. This is the, this is the one you want, this one right here. Now I 100% recommend two sizes of braids. Well, I guess you can go multiple sizes of braids, but you need braid. This We have braid ourselves. This is Guggen braid. 50 to 65 pound braids, very important. Do not throw this on floral. Do not throw this on monofilament. Don't throw it on anything else. Braid solely. I don't care if you use our brand or somebody else's, you need braid. Oh, this is the rod I would use when I'm using our frogs. The filthy frog, that is. I would use a go-to series. I use the gold series, the gold go-to for one reason and one reason only. It's awesome. It's got a lot of power behind it too. It's shorter so you can skip that frog up underneath stuff. And that's very, very, very important. I'll sit on the front deck of my boat and there's times I'll literally lean down and almost get a knee and I need this shorter rod so I can take this frog and skip it up underneath the trees. So the shorter rod is very important. It's got enough muscle and backbone to get them out of that slop. The Guggen Gold Series go-to rod is the one I use myself for frogs. I like to also pair it up with a high-speed reel mainly because once they eat it, you gotta let them eat it for like two seconds or so, and then you just hit them, and then you try to crank them in as fast as you can, rip them through that slot. That's me, that's what I like to use. You guys can use a slower reel if you'd like, uh, but for the most part, you don't really need a big size spool, like a 150 size spool or smaller is actually you can get away with, and you're pretty much golden on that. So if you guys wanna get anything you've seen inside of this video, you guys can go to guggensquad.com, use code BUG, 10 BUG 10 to save 10% off anything on the website right now. Everything is in stock. Tell me if you do not have any of these frogs, pick yourself up a black one. Start with black. Big size and small size, both popping and just the regular pony nose frog. Pony, pony nose frog. But I hope you guys took something away from this over here at Google Labs. Catch us on another episode. I'll see you guys later.